everybody a bully. I have a question about the lawsuit, um, just to understand. About the HBC lawsuit. Yeah, about the HBC and lawsuit. And I guess and I have a question. Counselor um, so the Craig lawsuit Thompson. that was filed, um, just to get clarity, um, was saying that money appropriations, if you will, um, that's not being given to HBCUs is the cause for white students and other students not going to HBCUs. Is that correct? That's one of the issues. That's one of the issues. There, there, there were three. There were three areas that were consistent with this, this 1992 case that I referenced, U.S. v. Fordyce, and the, the U.S. Supreme Court in that case found that there were three particular areas. There were a number, but there were three primary areas that were traceable to the de jure era segregation. It was funding, it was program or widespread unnecessary program duplication, which in essence meant in the schools in Mississippi, if one of the traditionally white institutions got a program, an, an HBCU would get it, which would continue to foster segregation. And the third was on missions. In other words, what was the mission of the institution? And then back in 1992, the missions of the HBCUs were generally only undergrad, only sort of preacher and teacher type classes. And so they didn't have any master's level programs, didn't have any uh, PhD level programs. And so the, 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 the plaintiffs in this case were in essence making a very similar argument that the HBCUs were being funded at a level that was traceable to the de jure era segregation that the program duplication that was occurring was traceable, and that the, the, the missions of the HBCUs were also limited. And what the state's defense was is that in those three areas, that simply wasn't true. The missions of, of, of Cop and Morgan, UMES, and Bowie have all greatly expanded. Um, just about all of them offer PhDs now. They all offer master's level programs. Morgan State University not only has an applied doctorate, but they also have a PhD, which is the gold standard at the, P, at the, at the doctoral level. And there are only three other institutions in the state of Maryland that can offer a PhD. And so the, in terms of the missions of the institutions, they've changed dramatically uh, in, in, as compared to the jury area segregation. In terms of funding, um, per FTE or full-time equivalent students, the HBCUs are actually funded um, at a higher clip than the T TWIs at this stage. And on the issue of program duplication, there's actually a program or process in place to make sure that that doesn't happen. And much was made about the MBA program at Towson I mean, we can certainly talk about that. That became a big issue in the in the in the in the case, um, but but the issue was whether or not there was widespread program duplication across the board, across the state. And that's at the graduate level. That's at that, that's at the that's at the the the, um, the institution level. Okay. In other words, whether or not either in, in in generally in 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 graduate, because most undergraduate school courses are are common 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 courses, uh, core courses, and so the issue was whether or not there was widespread program duplication of non-core courses. There are some non-core courses in undergrad, but most of them are at the graduate school For the level. sake of time, I'm going to have to jump in. Are you saying that the, the attorneys brought the wrong case? They, they, they made the wrong charge. They had the wrong lawsuit. They should have reworded it. Well, he, he, here's the bottom line. That's it, a yes or no question. It's, it's not a yes or no, because there's some backstory to it. There was a it was an agreement. Black people want theirs in the state of Maryland. That's and, that's and, the backstory. And, and black folks should get it. And, you know, you and will I have talked several Will you help you, us get let, it? Listen to what I'm saying. You and I have talked several times. Black folk, we, I mean, we, we're going to get what we need. and so and I don't think so. I think we, we, well, you we gotta, get then, what we fight for. Then you got to run for office. We got to continue fighting for it. You, you let keep me, shifting let me, let me it on me. We have career politicians let who've me been you, at City Hall, who've been in the Maryland General Assembly for 10, 20 years, and question. some of them walk around like they God's gift to humanity, and you look at their neighborhoods, and it looks like Baghdad. That's all.